Tom's advised that him and his wife have both been shot. They're inside a Kia Soul, 3280 River Road. The call going out on the police radio recorded from Rangecast. When police arrived minutes later, they found that Kia Soul down an embankment across the street from the school. The shooting apparently happened in the alley next to the school. Inside the car, a 33-year-old woman who died and presumably her husband, according to the police call, who was critically injured. Also in the car, police found a child who had not been hurt miraculously. I heard a uh, pow, 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 pow. And I knew it was gunshot and I knew it was close to my home. Lisa Sanker's house is feet from where the shooting occurred. I was shaking bad because I knew it was close to home. I could tell by the sound of the shots that it was very close to my house. The car shot across River Road after the shooting, somehow avoiding getting T-boned by cars whizzing by in both directions. It hopped the curb and careened down a wooded embankment hitting a tree. You can see the two bullet holes in the driver's side window. It's unclear what blew out the rear window. Cincinnati Police Chief Teresa Fiji showed up on scene. Don't resort to gun violence. It doesn't solve anything. It um, absolutely harms a family whose loved one is shot. And the people who are doing the shooting, I don't think they realize the lifelong consequences that they could suffer for shooting somebody. Tragic that someone died and another person was injured, but so incredibly lucky that no one at the school was injured or killed, let alone the child who was in the victim's car. I mean, they put the children's safety in, in jeopardy, besides, you know, homeowners and other people go, coming and going to work. They're just idiots. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.